Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as the United States of America. So last time, we went to war with the British and the Irish, and I think a couple other countries, but so far we were doing okay. We actually, well, hold on, what's this? Oh, yeah. Oh, I hope, wait, who sees that out? I'm not really sure. Uh, I can't really tell. Regardless, we had a naval battle at the end of last episode where we won... Our ships took a little bit of damage, especially the fleet under Christopher Grant, but we won. And I'm going to actually combine this fleet, they're almost out of transports, with the one trying to be made right here, which it's, it's an okay idea, but really uh, my goal is to invite Ireland in this episode. So we'll see what happens because, well, Canada's pretty much done and dusted with. South America is, well, South America. And yeah, we're doing pretty well. So apparently there's a comment from yesterday. Hold on. Wait, when did Bolivia get this? Wait. What? Um, I don't remember Bolivia owning this part of Patagonia. Um, okay, well, whatever. You know, as long as they're happy with it, that's fine with me. But really, ooh, Ecuador's not. Come on, guys, get in the war. It's a great time. We're all fighting together. Oh, and the Swedish are socialists. Well, what else is new? Anyways, let's see. So really. <clears throat> Excuse me. We didn't have to go to war with the UK, apparently. Because once we do infamy wars, then uh, we just get a free cast as belly gets them. So I didn't know that. So I learned something new every day. Let's see. Actually, the Persians are in this sphere, or literally a satellite of them, huh? Oh, no. Well, that's not good. The seas are a very damning thing, I guess we could say. Oh, but hey, at least we're home. We're home. We can repair. Wow, that fleet does not look very good. It really does not look good. Go and do that. Uh, yeah, let everyone repair first. And then... Yeah, we've got to keep building these guys up. But unfortunately, I can't build anything because we have no fuel for some reason. Even though off-screen, I did make more uh, factories for fuel. I do have some coffee here, too. Good American coffee. Kind of cool, though. But, hmm... I mean, I need as much fuel as possible. I even, like, increase... Oh, fascist rebellion organization gain. Trying to increase the size of all this stuff. Like, like we need fuel, like, now. <laughs> Veracruz. Like, boy, we need it so bad. At least we can make more ships. Woo! The Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology. One of our illustrious scientists have been awarded this year's Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology. Great. Ah, uh, how prestigious. Actually, good. We got that. So let's grab some more of this. Organization Supply Range. Let's do that first. It should be pretty easy to get. Alright, so ship-wise. Like I said, I don't want to invade Ireland. But they, I know they have a ton of soldiers over here. Oh. Ah, uh, so the Germans and the French are at war with... Oh, the Germans are at war with the UK as well. Interesting. And their war with Greece and France. You know, you could have just joined the war with me anyways. We would have gone to war with France and been totally fine, but you know what? Whatever. Whatever, you know? I mean, France at this point is just getting stomped by Germany, which honestly isn't any surprise at all. So, alright, so it's May. Oh, yeah. Just go ahead and combine them. We need screens on this fleet. Give me one more month and we should be good to go again and actually transport soldiers over to uh, the country. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do here. This lead is going to transfer the 60,000 stack. Let's see. I need to give them... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Portugal! Uh, sure. Maybe they'll want to join our alliance, maybe. There you go. Oh, they, they changed flags, too. They are now... Liberals. Okay, cool. They are the white and other flag earlier. Well, you wanted an alliance. If you don't want to join, then don't ask me for an alliance. It's simple as that. Mm, that's good. It's not too bad. Yeah, some of these ships still need to be refitted, we'll say. Refitted. Yeah, we got full cost going. Social spending's at minimum is what we can do. Tariffs are kind of high. We're losing a little bit of money. That's okay. All right. So probably they, the British, have also had enough time to repair their ships. Just give me one more month. Just give me one more month because some of these ships are just looking so disastrously bad. Alright, so you are going to come down here. 
We're gonna send 90,000 soldiers over there, probably. Give me one more. Because you're super close. No, you're super close to having that amount. Right there. Uh, you're heading, eh, you can probably just stay there. There you go. The invasion of Ireland is going to be probably a big problem for us because they have a lot of... They've mobilized, so they have a lot of ships around there. Cool. And France... Oh. Wait, they declared Huet? Oh, look at that. They just wanted a colony. Okay. Um, is Germany still at war with the UK? Because if they are, that's great. Oh, they are. That's awesome. Oh, the Germans are going to dismantle the Empire. Okay, that's okay with me. That's fine. You know. Oh, whatever. Weapons platform, build days. More speed. More navies attack. Uh, yeah, let's get that. Well. Uh, uh, we're so close. Alright, that's better for the infantry. Alright, well, let's send everyone over. I don't think everyone's going to make it over, but we can try. Alright, you guys. Head on down over here. We're going to invade Cork. Because I think that's a naval base over there. Uh, oh boy. Hold on. There we go. Hopefully the British really haven't recovered too much from that battle. Or the Irish. Hopefully. <laughs> so, either way, the UK is going to die. Like, I don't know why Germany took forever to go to war with them. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Chile. Good, good. Bolivia, Brazil. Increase our relations with them for now. It's fine. French liberation of the Ard Oh, the French declared war on them. Ardennes. Interesting. All right. Now this is where we are probably gonna die here. Uh, you guys don't have anyone, but you guys probably do. To cork and dig in as fast as possible. Oh my goodness. Coming to Limerick as well. If we can siege these two areas down, that'd be great. And just defend, defend, defend until they like attack us. Come on. It's gonna take a while as long as they don't. Ah, oh, there we go. Great. War is upon us. The U.S. is in a state of total war with one of the great powers of the world. In a modern age, where warfare has the capability of killing millions, the very future of our nation could be at stake. The call has gone out to the American people. Put aside your petty differences, your day-to-day -day lives, and your personal ambitions. The U.S. must pull together in our hour of need. Yes. No war exhaustion. They're sending in thousands of men right now. Mm, supply here is not bad, actually. Hopefully these guys just have a little bit of dig-in. Uh, how do we see they even need dig-in? I'm going to go ahead and start sieging this part down, too, just in case. Oh, boy. Are they all moving to Limerick or here? Whoopsie, my bad. I hit my coffee cup. Didn't spill anything, though. All right, so. Oh, my God. Look at that. They're losing thousands by the day. And they're losing. Oh, my gosh. Now, we're not winning here, but they fit in. Fenton? We just killed 96,000 of them. Help them out up here. Oh my goodness. This is exactly why you want defensive. Oh my. We just, they just like 7,000, 8,000 a day. Uh, make sure they can't send any more soldiers too. Holy crud. How many men of you? They're, they're only, this is the mobilized infantry group here. Um... You know what? No. You wanted to come to war with me. So, these are literally mobilized soldiers. There's, That's it. We're defending with 25,000, 26,000 infantry. And some forces, and of course some artillery, but... Oh my gosh. We are butchering them. Alright, they want to do that. Time to move in. Actually, you guys can probably... Oh, well, maybe not. Mm -hmm. it might be best for you all to come right there first. Make sure we, we don't lose any ships. That's probably the most important thing. Oh my. Oh, they're sending more in. Oh. oh no, it's a meat grinder. Holy crap. 
The end of the state of emergency. We held the title as much as we could, but now the state of emergency was lifted by the American government. I'm not sure why you want to do that now, though. The war isn't over. Its policies are not as effective as they were, and the suspension of rights can no longer be maintained. For better or for worse, we have to deal with the backlash of emergency measures now. God, this sounds like 2020. Early half of 2020. Oh. Well, hopefully they're not pissed, too pissed off. Would you like low subsidies? I will gladly give you low subsidies as long as you don't revolt right now. We just killed 10,000. 4,000. Oh, we're gas... Oh. God, we're gassing those British boys. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to do this every single time, man. Oh, the Germans are here. Oh, they're allied with... We need... Yeah. That's great, yeah. Oh, good. We're... Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. I love it. Oh, they're sending more... <laughs> they're sending more in. Oh, this is where we're going to just win the, the war. Uh, you need to definitely heal up. Come here. Uh, actually, mm, we need a naval base. I need to send you home immediately. Hopefully they don't die on the way over there, back home. So, uh, you guys not looking too bad coming to the Irish Sea. That's good. Oh my goodness. Alright, so what's this war score for now? Only 1%? With me destroying those British ships, like, uh, yeah, the Germans probably have a, would probably have a fairly easy time invading now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How many have we killed? Oh, the Swedish British Summit of 1908. Talks with the UK stalled, and even with a common ideological ground, there's just too many issues remaining between our nations to improve the relations more than marginally. Huh. I've killed over half a million British soldiers. Holy crud. That's insane. We lost 31,000. That casualty rate is ins. Oh my god. I just wanted to public Canada. Hmm. At this point, we might as well get something else. Because their their empire is going to be dismantled anyways. What if instead of dismantling them, maybe I could like release India? That would be it's pretty cool. So this way, the Germans probably won't get India when we piece them out. And infamy at this point is not going to mean very much to us at all. I do want to go to a peace as soon as possible so we can deal with any potential revolts and stuff like that. Mm, that's not a bad idea. Greece. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, that was... I'm glad I built up my, my task forces like this, but uh, India really wouldn't be a bad idea. Because I don't I really don't want to give it to the Germans. Uh, how much would it take? I could acquire a state, of course. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll acquire a state. Just because... Uh, I'd like all these states, too. Still, anyways. Mm, the Caribbean Islands. British, British, eh. West Indies. British West Indies. It's not really worth, it's not really worth it, though, in this war. Hmm. Release Puppet. Nah. Liberate Country. It costs quite a bit. Wow. The Sikh Empire? That'd be kind of cool. I can make him release Argentina. Australia? Is India here? Let's see. India, where are you? Free people. I'm not seeing India. I wish this was alf uh, alphabetized. That would be kind of nice if it was. Nope. Nope. Eh, taking a puppet's okay. Release puppet. Nope. Mm, cut down the size, humiliate, cast it. Well, I, I don't really see it. What was this? Venezuela? British Guiana? I mean, we might as well do that. That's fine. We'll do that first. Nice! That was... I, I say quite the insane battle, not gonna lie. Quite an insane battle. Alright, let's see just down so we can get some, like, support through here. Maybe repair a ship or two, because that'd be kind of nice. Especially in Cork. Galway. Cool. Ah, even more strength for our ships. You guys come up there. Uh, I think of that area too. First tractor in some place. Where are you going, son? Where are you going? Uh, 
And all right, should we, have, we should have enough time to do this. Indoor, seek. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's here. God, it's eleven. Oh wait. Oh, that infamy went up even more. What the heck? Yeah, regardless. Hmm. People want to go to war with us. We still have the capabilities of taking them out. So I'm going to do this regardless. Take them to Sphere. Empire of Mexico. Ireland. Mm, I'm sorry I'm taking so long with this. I just, I'm not really sure what I want to get out of this. Let's see. Cut down to size. It's not bad. Prohibited from raising armies and lose half of their forces for five years. And we get paid. You know what, I think that, that looks pretty nice. Uh, that's pretty good. We're gonna go with that. People are gonna go to war with us, but whatever. We're gonna peace out as soon as we can. Alright. Nice. Give it just one more month. Let's see if we can actually do that. Nope. Uh, Canada? Sweet. Well, the war is over, my friends. The war is over. Uh, I could probably send you. Uh, maybe not you. Can you guys send that way? No? Okay. I'm gonna send you guys immediately home so you can repair first and then we'll get some of these ships back. So now we have Canada. Look at that. That's beautiful. Wait, they're not in my satellite. I thought we'd get them as our. Oh. An alliance? No? Huh. I thought I said I want to take their puppet. I'm pretty sure I told them to take the puppet, but whatever. Oh, there's a war? What the heck? Well. We're already our, over our infamy limit, so whatever. Well, at least we're at peace. Does anyone want to come over here? Yeah, people still want to immigrate here. Sorry, armies over there. You're going to have to wait a little bit. All right, let's go up another army, then, because we're going to need it where we're going. One, two, three. Uh, that's a little bit too much. Let's build ten. But really, nine. There you go. Two. Get twenty. There we go. Another new army group. We only have 7.62 thingamabobs. Good. Beer halls, that's fine. Alright, we got some guys over here. Let's leave. Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, you guys doing okay over there? Oh, yeah. Head on over home. First to Tampa. These ships are looking just so beat up. Oh, now we're finally building more cruisers. Uh, yes, Canada. You can gladly have this. Oh, wait. War of Spanish Submission? The UK trying to beat up the Spanish? Huh. Nice. Ah, yes. Immigrate here, my friends. Immigrate. But now we'll be in a bunch of defensive wars, which will be kind of fun. Alright, my friends. Sorry about that. But the game actually crashed... Uh, just as we were transporting soldiers over, uh, the war, of course, is over. The war is no longer affecting us. Uh, let's see. Anything else? That Germany wants to acquire Ghana, like we care. So, we're still here and kind of hanging out and trying to transport soldiers back home. It was one heck of a war, to say the least. Also, I don't think I... Yeah, I didn't even make another army yet. Uh, let's go and do that real quick. All right, two. Nice, good. Please don't crash, game. For the love of God, please don't crash. Okay, so that, if that's the case, I'm sending you guys back down here. Uh, we have an army down here in California, which is good. Canada, big and beautiful. America's hat is finally out, outside of the UK's sphere of influence. Ah, love it. All right, now. We do have some war exhaustion, which kind of sucks, but, eh, could be worse. It's going to go down. Yeah, it's slowly going to be going down, which is good for us. Very good for us. Right, let's come over here and dingle bait. Dingle. Now we still have 35 things here. Oh, the lost city of the Incas, believed to be an estate built for the Inca Emperor Pachacuti 
Machu Picchu was built around 1450, but it was abandoned a century later at the time of the Spanish conquest. Although known locally, it was not known to the Spanish during the colonial period and remained unknown to the outside world until an American historian brought it to international attention in 1909. Machu Picchu was built in the classical Inca style with polished dry stone walls. Its three primary structures are the Inti Watana, the Temple of the Sun, and the Room of the Three Windows. American researchers believe this to be the fabled lost city of the Incas, the last Inca capital, founded by Manco Inca but lost to the ages, the fire, and the steel of the Spanish conquest. At last, the mystery is solved. Very good. And the last American soldiers are going to be leaving. Oh god, no, we don't have enough. Uh, Ireland, hopefully soon. Um, I could just disband them, but I don't want to do that. Send half you guys this way. Good. And... Come to Tampa. Very good. Oh, look. Finally, some more cruisers, like I said earlier. Oh. Uh, actually, two cruisers would be okay right here. Oh, and what do we have? An end to natural dyes. The discovery of man-made synthetic dyes in the mid-19th century triggered a long decline in the large-scale market for natural dyes. Synthetic dyes, which can be produced in large quantities, quickly superseded natural dyes for the commercial textile production enabled by the Industrial Revolution. And unlike natural dyes, are suitable for the synthetic fibers that have followed. In a few of our provinces, the production of natural dyes is in a steady decline for a few years, and now producers can barely sell their product. Faced with bankruptcy, most dye producers are looking for new goods to sell. We can help them look for new markets, and... Ooh, get a chance for places to get coffee, cotton, grain, or tobacco. Yes. Alright, Guantanamo Baileys. And that's pretty much all the events that we have currently. Good. If economic sanctions. Oh, boy. So, we do not seek destruction of any government, nor do we covet a foot of any territory. We do not want an expanding struggle with consequences that no one can perceive, nor will we bluster or bully or flaunt our power, but we will not surrender. Finishing his speech, the ambassador of one of the great powers that gathered to discuss the situation of our country finished convincing the other great powers to assign a round of economical and diplomatic sanctions against our country. The great power conference sent us a warning against any more aggression from our part and said that they are ready to escalate if we don't cease and change our behavior. Oh. International sanctions. Import loan interests. Factory owned costs. Political reform desire. Alright, well. Just casually having a little bit of... Wow. You can give me sanctions, but people still want to come to America. So, go suck it, you other countries. Nice. Alright, so we're going to need a lot more ships here than just this. So, uh, at this point, I'm going to try to mostly build troop ships around the East Coast or the Atlantic side of the country. Just because I don't want to be in the middle of a war and just troops just ships just get demolished. Let's go do that. Ah, yes, we will attend the 4th Olympic Games, yes. That would be a very good thing to do. Alright, you guys, only, oh, three transports, that's not really good. You guys, come back to Ireland. Oh, well, hold on. You're looking pretty weak there, not gonna lie, looking pretty weak. Oh, we can influence Norway and Poland. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Norway. And Poland. Of all places, why Poland? I don't know, but... That looks pretty good to me. Ah, better supply range. Just 1909. Oh, yeah, we can do some more stuff there. Nothing there. Oh, yeah. Government interventionism. Oil. Activate. Oh. I see oil. I say I have to get that, but oh, we got. Oh. Shift work. Yeah, let's, let's do that. And then maybe some synthetic polymers. Oh, the guys are stuck over there. Hey, we are the largest military in the world. After that massive war. We are the largest military in the world, which is awesome. Do I have another navy around here somewhere? Haifong. Which makes sense. I'm going to keep those guys there for now. Get some more forts here. But, huh. We might have lost a navy or something. Actually, can we get any more soldiers here? Yes. We have... Oh, we need a... First sea boy. That'll be good. Carolina Fleet, Tampa, looking a little better. Give me just one more month and I'll send him back to Ireland. New store in La Vega. Very good, very good. Alright, just kind of waiting for them to go to war with me, or just other people. We're making a lot of money. Now that's beautiful. You guys are second power, second in the world, fourth in the world, oh boy. 
I would assume Russia is seventh. Who's third? Wait, who's seriously who's third? Uh, we got. Huh. Oh. We are top, barely beating out the UK. Let's see, uh huh, uh huh. Three eighty-two, three fifty-nine. The Germany's fourth. Who's third? Huh. Nice. Then you're in Tampa too. And boom. Nice. Now we still need to take this territory. We'll go back to war with the UK eventually. Don't don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. We definitely will. So. Alright, you guys are looking good. So I'm gonna put you back in DC just in case people get a little bit too conscious of their world, we'll say. I guess I'm gonna focus on the city. And we need one more infantry. Is that being made? Yes, it is. Good. More naval organization. Let's get our armies back into shape. And then we'll probably go to war with Mexico again. Because who doesn't love a war with Mexico? I know I do. Alright. Almost made it. Good. How many more ships are we making? A couple more. A couple more dreadnoughts. That'd be good. Uh, that's a quite a few troop ships, which isn't bad. I could use... How many dreadnoughts? One, two... Yeah, that, I mean, that looks pretty good. Our athletes... Oh, it's a really quick Olympic Games. Holy cow. Good. So we got an army there. Can we build up our forts anymore? You never know if we might get sieged down. Colonial wariness. Of course the colonies are of vital importance to us. Very good. Oh! Well, let me get subsidies. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's really what I thought. Alright, let's take a look at this. What am I still doing here? Uh, liberal support, that's kind of okay for now. Bureaucrats, you're probably done with bureaucrats there. You know what? Switch it over to intellectuals. So I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I didn't do any intellectual support right there. Take that out. Ah, that's still good to do. You guys are still good to do that there. Do we have any naval bases I need expanding? No? Okay. Okay. You guys still need to expand. Makes sense. You guys are looking pretty good. How is American Africa doing? How oh, they're doing. Let's see. We can do one, two. And then... Oh, one. Oh. Uh, instead of that, get a horse. Artillery. There you go. How about these places? Actually. Nope. Didn't think I could. Good. I suppose we can let time go on just a little bit more. Swedish Congo. That is very, very weird. Not gonna lie. Very, very weird. Uh, British India still there. That's fine. Influence Poland some more. Poor Italy. They can't really do very much. Ah, good. So where do we have low administrative efficiency? Over there. Ooh, how about down here? No, oh, we're still looking pretty good in Panama. Alaska's looking pretty great. Huh. Oh, how about over here? Can I do this? No, I cannot. Over here, I probably cannot. And up here, I probably cannot either. If that's the case... Where do we put some... Let's see... Factories. Utah could use some clerks. Clerks, there you go. Nice. Very good. Oh, 60,000 stack. Put you... Oh, you guys are looking pretty good. Nice. Oh, wow, you're actually not terrible. One, two... Put them down here again, just in case. You guys, you're next. You need... Two... Well... Three... Infantry and one artillery. Three infantry. Boom. There you go. Very good. Stock exchange. So, local businessmen in one of our provinces has formed a joint venture company to establish a local stock exchange primarily aimed at the commodities trade. The venture will doubtlessly increase local productive efforts. Good. Good. How many more ships are we building? Like, I want to get these all done first. And then, actually, you know what? Charleston building all that up. Get the ports first. Cut out one more. Build a troop ship here. Make it go faster. 
finish that one up first, and then we'll repair this one and make another one as well. 225 we're looking pretty good. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Good. Troop ship attack has gone down, but that's okay. So not gonna, no one's going to go to war with me until I go to war with someone else, it looks like. Which is fine with me. Troop ship, it's almost done. Good, good, good. Ah, uh, sure, Ottomans. Sure. Let's see. Okay, okay. Good, we're done. You are done. That's... Even though we only have 10 screens instead of, you know, 12, that's still okay. So, I'm going to put you guys up here in New York. Well, the New York fleet is coming down here, and... Really, all you need is, like, seven... Let's make it nine troop ships. That's it. Oh, whoops. That's army. Nine troop ships. There you go. That should be good. We have max spending on a military, and we're still making boatloads of money. Lower tariffs, too. Oh, oh there, there went our money. Uh, coal production, electrical power generation. That looks pretty good. Let's go with that one. More output. More, 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 more output. Good. Alright, so how's this coming along? We're building up a bigger military. Because we're going to go to war with Mexico again, because obviously we have to go to war. At this point, I'll probably just, like, take as much as I can. Yeah, I'm probably just going to take as much as I can. Doesn't even matter at this point. Puppets. Oh, look at that. Look at Venezuela. I forgot about that. That's beautiful. See how good it is being my puppet? You get stuff from me, if possible. Very nice. Yes, we'd like an alliance. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Argentina's looking pretty thick. Good. I still want to go to war with Paraguay. Oh, and these Central American states, too. But yeah, this next war for Mexico, I'm just going to just eat them all up. Except for the last little state. Because that's, that's just how it works. Nice. Not bad. Pretty good. Alright, you're done. Move on down here to Tampico. Tampico. Alright, you guys come back up here. You're going to need three troop transports. That's pretty much it. Oh, I said three, but get a dreadnought too. Because they only have battleships. I at least want to give them one dreadnought. That'd be good. Oh, come on. How many wars are still going on? God dang, this war is still going on. Secular strife, the policies must end. It's its only charitable work. Very good. Expanding more factories. We're still not the most industrial powerhouse in the world, but that's okay. Alright, get him that one battleship, and then we'll make another fleet after this. Oh, it's going to take a little bit of time to be done on 10-5, so probably October 5th. Good. How is military? You are looking a little too thick for my tastes. Yeah. Just a little bit too thick, so that's okay. Pull you out. Another 30,000 stack. Come down to Mexico, because why not? So, make it another 30,000 stack. One, two, three, four. One. One, two. One, two. There you go. Uh, actually, it's one, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, the vassalization of Canada. As a result of recent war, Canada was transferred to us in vassalage. Officials in D.C. are finishing the preparations to welcome the Canadian people into the American Empire. The new American masters, I believe so. Yes. Enter in Durango. Suppress this. Oh, look at that. What type of flag is that? Holy cow. Ah, uh, This... I, we need this in real life. We need this. Maybe not the flag. The light of democracy. Oh, wow. Are you naked? The threats to the modern world are many. Communism, fascism, tyranny in all forms. If the free and democratic nations of the world are to survive, they must stand together. American leaders are calling on governments to initiate closer ties with fellow democratic nations. Outrageous. Ah, uh, sure. Let's piss people off, because we can. Very good, very good. Secularization, last. The German Empire... Okay, I didn't even notice they had white, blue on their flag. Oh my goodness. So they're right behind. Germany does not have the biggest industry anymore. Oh, so you guys still do. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. I don't know their national anthem, and that's okay. I love it. Oh, we can influence Denmark. Yeah, sure, why not? 
Did you like an alliance? No? Okay, that's okay. Very awesome. We're just making so much money. It's great when you destroy other countries and then, like, no one else can build or have that much other stuff. I love it. Let's build that one more fleet up. Begin construction of another fleet. And then go to war with Mexico. Good. We're building all these guys up. I love it. Hey! Hey, look, we're no longer socialists. We're actually Republican now. Wow, that actually worked in California. Switching these guys over? Huh. So, to, to the disappointment of some people, we are no longer socialists. So, I can actually spend less now on this. Less on social spending. We're still spending some, which isn't bad. And we're first in the South Pole. Our intrepid explorers have been the first to raise a flag at the South Pole and have brought glory and prestige to our great country. Look at that prestige. No one can touch us in prestige. Just no one. Now we, get, we lost a lot of money. That's okay, though. And let's see, even though we have sanctions, people still want to come here. People still want to come to the Great American Empire. Wow, Republicans, you actually won an election in like 30 years or something? Weird. Alright, so you're done. Uh, I'll send you down to here, probably. Cool. Next up, another fleet. We only have four, I need more. Uh, one, two, three, four, five... Cruisers. There you are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twelve. Good. How's the military coming along? We need one more guy. Coming from New York. And we have electrical power generation, electric arc furnaces, synthetic polymers, behaviorism. Yeah, that's okay, we can do that a little later. I said we need oil, and we're gonna get it. We're gonna get oil. 1919, after the Great War, pretty much 1914. Aeronautics, that'd be good. It is only 10 at 19, so that's okay. Come on. Expand every factory known to man here that we can. Good. Increase relations, perhaps, with some people's... Yes, Ecuador. Nice. Alright. So, we have another stack. It's great. Something to justify on you guys. Oh, we can't... Oh, we have to wait until, like, the peace treaty is done with the UK, probably. Uh, I don't like that. Okay, let's make another stack, then. Eight, nine, ten, one. There you go. So the war is not going as well as it was for the Germans. Let's see, the Connor. We're still waiting for stuff. Generous subsidies. Uh, I guess. I suppose so. You know what? We're not making a ton of money. Even though I did lower tariffs. I'm, maybe not too much. Lord, that. Oh, full welfare state happened to us. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty much. Even though, I mean, I could do this. That's going to cost, look, look how much money that's going to cost me. So much money. Actually, if I do that, or people are just going to come to America, right? 4,000, about, well, less than 5,000, around 5,000-ish. Alright, so we, got, we did that. Let's go back down here. What happened here? Broke it out to the UK. Yeah, no one wants to be allies with the UK. Now it's dropped, or still going up. Eh. Eh. Going on to the UK. Why did they break their alliance? Let's see, Germ oh, Germany. Yeah, we'll increase relations with you. <clears throat> oh, they're actually winning now. The Flight of Democracy. Uh, I kind of already read that, so... Guatemala gets that now. I mean, we'll probably come for Guatemala too, so... Increase relations with all the great powers, especially... I like Japan. Let's increase relations with Russia. I don't want anyone pissed off at us. That's, that's not very good. Poland. Where's Poland? Poland! Nope. I wish it was an event where we could annex... Oh, socialists. Uh, annex Canada. Just directly. Of course we'll attend the 5th Olympic Games. Of course. When can I... Oh, you're allied. Oh, the UK wants another fight. Okay, I mean, if you... You're 16. That's not bad. Nice. More diplomatic points. We got some... We can unlock some fuel. Some oil. Naval stuff. It'd probably be good to do some naval stuff as well. But I like industry. Electric arc furnaces. Thank you. 
almost 95% of our entire population can read. Quite the achievement. Let's see. We need one more guy here. Pikeville, which is, I think, Kentucky. Yeah. Kentucky, good. Good. Look at that. We just need more ships. Another 60 stack. Ooh, some of you guys aren't looking too great. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, once we get to take this stuff, we're going to go straight to Guatemala. I'll put you guys... We already have one army on the East Coast. Let's put them on the West Coast. I'm going to move you down to Mexico, though. American Free Corps. Now, soldiers in Texas become more fascist. Oh, I guess. Yeah, so be it, then. So be it. Let's see. We're running out of soldiers, actually, that we can make. So, it looks like... One, two, three, four... One. One. We need one more group here. Uh-oh, South Serbia. Oh, boy. Um, Probably not that one. Probably not. And let's see, you guys. Looking pretty good. Let me get one more infantry down here. Good. Uh, Alba I'm okay, Albania. Uh, we're good. Oh, oh, boy. Still kind of waiting for the peace to go to fire. Still some socialists. All right. Your peace. Greece. Sweden. The biggest military in the world. I love it. Most made up of more capital ships. We have a massive navy. Absolutely massive. Oh, Romania. What are you doing? So, what's going on here before we end the episode? So, Austria-Hungary. Albania acquires all states. Russia and Sir... Oh, boy. The Balkans would be a powder keg. As you guys are still killing each other off. Oh, look at our money. It went way down now. Industrial subsidies are costing us the most. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's national stockpile purposes. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, boy. Well, we can kind of afford that for now. Oh, we have rebels. But anyways, we're going to end that episode here because we've done really, really well. We've got Canada under us. We made them change their flag. They're liberal like us. We have put the Republican Party in power, which is a little different. We currently go to, can't go to war yet. We're still waiting for the UK to die off, but I might influence a little war here. I might just make a white piece or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Never mind. They're at peace now. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And for the rest of this campaign, it's going to be interesting because I've never gone over my infamy limit. And we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.